Hey everybody, Nick from the Bass Hookup. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we do a monthly giveaway. We give away half of our monthly YouTube income. All you have to do is comment on a video and subscribe. And at the beginning of every single month, we do a giveaway in that video. We don't always name it. It's a, a giveaway because there's a bunch of scammers out there. Every time we put the word giveaway in the video, um, some of you guys get hit up by scammers saying, hey, you won. So just watch the first of every month's video if you uh, want to be in that giveaway leave a comment, subscribe. So today's video, um, really looking forward to it actually. I got all the most popular vibrating jigs on the market. We have the new Evo by Z-Man. We have the Berkeley Slobber Knocker. We have the Strike King Thunder Cricket. We have the first gen Copperhead. And of course we have the Z-Man Jackhammer. So those five vibrating jigs, and we're gonna actually get them in the water here. Uh, just recently just got this swim spa and it actually kind of works out here. I'll show you guys. This thing right here is actually going to work out kind of like a little underwater test tank. It's about 20 feet long. This section right here is about 12, maybe a little longer, but it's about six feet deep. So I'm gonna put a camera on the end over here. We're going to stand up over there and I'm going to cast this way and we're going to look at them underwater. And most importantly, we're going to listen to them. Most of the vibrating jigs, most vibrating jigs on the market maybe give you kind of the same action, but really the sound is a lot different on all of them. And we advertise the first gen Copperhead as the loudest uh, vibrating jig on the market today. So we're gonna see if that's actually true. Put it underwater. We're not gonna do anything crazy. No adjustments, nothing, just underwater. I've actually never even done this before. Um, we've done the Copperhead underwater before. It's super, super loud and I've heard jackhammer under the water a couple of times and so I kind of know what to expect there but you know honestly haven't done them all back to back in a row and maybe they'll have some different actions we're gonna find out but let's get right to it I gotta actually jump in the pool put my camera down there and uh, get out and then I'll put this camera on uh, a chesty we'll stand up over there and start firing them in here and uh, do multiple passes with them. And oh, they're all on the same size fluorocarbon. Every single one of them, every single one of them has a big bite trailer, the same exact trailer. One of them's a different color, same exact trailer. So everything's fair. Everything's exactly the same, same line, same trailer, just different chatter baits. So let's get started. All right, you guys. So I think I'm gonna start out with what I think is gonna be the quietest. I'm going to work up to what I think will be the loudest. So I think the quietest two are going to be the Thunder Cricket and the Slobber Knocker. And I think the Slobber Knocker is going to be the quietest. So let's find out. So I got Slobber Knocker, as you can see right here, um, Big Bite Baits trailer on there. Uh, I will say, you know, that they all have nice paint. Um, this one's definitely the most unique with the, the blade attachment there through the head. I just think it's going to be the quietest because it does go through the head like that. Uh, and then all of them have pretty, pretty stout hooks. Um, good bait keepers. Again, fluorocarbon. I'll throw this thing in here. And let's see. I mean, here's the deal. Is I'm not going to be able to tell from outside of the pool and um we're gonna have to we're gonna have to upload the footage so we could really hear it and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to kind of just pull these really tight wobble i can't really reel them because <clears throat> or maybe i could reel them like this straight to the camera like that. Uh, yeah, I can kind of hear it knocking. All right, that's a slobber knocker. Let's get that out. Let's go Thunder Cricket. So, I mean, the most important things about these vibrating jigs are 
number one, do they start up right when you turn the reel handle or go to lift them? Two, action, maybe hook size. Um, that's important because you do tend to lose a lot of fish on bladed jigs just because that blade goes in their mouth when you set the hook it kind of pops it open so the quality of the hook i will say on this strike king you could see this i think is the only one where it has a rubber band skirt right off the bat i don't really like that and they're all half ounce i didn't mention that either they're all same size yeah it starts up right away really tight wobble i can't really hear anything like i was saying these things are all gonna look pretty good but if we could get one that's different than the other different sound maybe a different action that little tiny difference will give you the advantage especially with how pressured fishing is now and everybody's knowledge of fishing from youtube from from uh, channels like mine where you know we try to Try to give you all the knowledge that we've obtained over the years fishing out on the water so you gotta everybody nowadays kind of got a head start this one seems pretty quiet i think it's quieter than the slobber knocker i'm gonna do a yo-yo Yeah, it's pretty quiet. It's actually a small bait too. So let's, that one down. Now let's go, that's what we're gonna do, Z-Man Evo. I actually really love this color for the Delta right now. That detail on there, the little gill, I mean, the fish don't care, but I like the, uh, I like the orange, with the green pumpkin, the orange blade. I actually like that color. This one has a metal band. It's like a metal thin wire band around the, uh, for the skirt collar, which is different. What I notice on these, to me, they actually have a smaller hook than I remember. Sharp hook, but just smaller. See what it sounds like, see what it looks like. I mean, Z-Man undoubtedly, because of that patented design where the blades hooked up to the head starts up right away of course trailer looks good it's kicking this one and the strike king though what i notice is because i'm i'm varying the retrieve like i'll show you guys i'll go like that it just comes in straight wait till you guys see the copperhead it has a hunting action these just really tight wobble just comes in very straight It looks good no i mean they all look good honestly i wouldn't be mad with any of them but are they different are they giving you an advantage those three kind of all feel the same now what i'm going to do i'm going to actually go to the copperhead we're going to go there's two hummingbirds like fighting behind me we're going to go this is the copperhead as you guys can see right there uh what we did with the blade with these two notches right here you know you use it in the grass these two notches act like, um, act like, you know, like the, the trolling motor, the, the machete blades that you put on there and it knocks the grass off. That's the idea behind that. So, you know, when this thing kicks in, you rip it through that grass, these little notches, they're actually, they're actually fairly sharp. They'll cut through the grass, freeing it of that. And then you can see this one I've thrown, you see where it knocks right here. And this is the same for all vibrating jigs pretty much except for probably a slobber knocker but you know anywhere the blades out here it knocks right here so the length of this is very important the size of the split blade on this is very important 
And that's why we have those two copper BBs, hence the copperhead. And copperhead snakes are loud, so it just went hand in hand. But right here, you guys can see the paint knocked off right next to those BBs. Well, if this blade swings, it's hitting the BBs and not the lead head. So, and this one, I think we actually have the probably the longest shank hook. Um, so, it's a mustad ultra point. Let's see. We go straight retrieve. Did you guys hear that already in the real handle? But this one too has a much more erratic action much more erratic action i'll show you guys on the straight retrieve again the other ones are very tight wobble this one has a way more um, erratic hunting action Definitely hear this one. It just sounds way louder. All right. That's the copperhead right there. I'm gonna say that's probably the loudest so far. I actually heard it through the, the real handle. Last but not least, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this copperhead off just to say I'm not, um, not cheating the system. I'm gonna put on this jackhammer right now. All right. All right, there you go. Jackhammer, same exact trailer. And this jackhammer is a little broken in, not a ton. But, see what it sounds like. Tight wobble. Super tight wobble. Let's go uh, straight retrieve. I could kind of hear it. Not a ton, though. It comes in perfectly straight. Just perfectly straight. The uh, copperhead has a just has such a more a wider wobble and hunting action to it. I mean, I'm even when I reel that thing in fast, it just comes in perfectly straight, which is not bad. I'm do one more yo-yo. Hey everybody, time to take a break from the video and do our giveaway. It's that time of the month, first of March time to get out there and go fishing and I have some exciting videos coming out for you guys back out on the Delta but let's get to this giveaway right now real quick let's go to the dashboard all right you guys here's our dashboard right here the bass hookup we've had 179 subscribers in the last month you guys are freaking awesome we everything's up right here in the last 28 day summary estimated revenue $258 we went from about anywhere from 100 to 145 to 258 that means whoever wins this giveaway right here is going to earn 130 dollars 130 dollar gift card to amazon tackle warehouse whatever um, you want so let's get straight to it right here close the ads come on i already put oh sorry the video i'm doing the comments from this video right here we had 163 unique comments for the Delta tournament video right here. So let's do that one. Let's see who's gonna win this thing. Let's see here in a second. Gary Yap, Gary Yap, not too shabby. If I do say so myself, congrats. All right, Gary Yap, congratulations. Email us at thebasshookup at gmail.com and we'll get right back to you. If you email us tonight, we'll get right back to you. But this video is probably gonna come out pretty late to be honest with you. Let's get right back to it and check out some more of this underwater footage of these different vibrating jigs.
Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the camera out of here, I'm gonna go inside, upload the footage, and then we'll probably do some voiceover to that footage, and we're gonna see which one's actually the loudest. Which one do you guys think it's gonna be? If you wanna get into the giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a comment right now. Let me know which one do you think is gonna be the loudest? Do you think it's gonna be the tried and true jackhammer, the new Z-Man Evo, the slobber knocker, the first gen copperhead, the uh, thunder cricket, which one, which one's loudest? Let's go grab this camera, go inside, upload this footage, and we're gonna find out right now. All right, you guys, so what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below, and that'll get you into the next drawing. Congratulations, Gary. Email us at thebassluckers at gmail.com, and uh, we'll get you what you, uh, what you want, the gift card, tackle, but 130 bucks, that's pretty good. You guys keep on growing this channel, we're gonna keep on giving back to you guys. So that's the goal here, make a bunch of money just so we could give it on back. Wouldn't it be awesome if we gave away $2,000 a month? Could you guys even imagine that? It'd be pretty, it'd be pretty awesome. So um, yeah, leave a comment down below. What do you think about these different vibrating jigs? I mean, obviously, I mean, I like them all, honestly. I like them all, but the Copperhead, to me, it just gives you a different sound, a different look because of that hunting action. And the harder you pull it, the louder it gets faster you pull it or you rip it out of the weeds, the louder it is because the harder and faster that blade hits those BBs. So, um, and we're looking to expand upon that bait. It's doing really good right now, uh, catching a lot of big fish across the country from our pro staffers. So the Copperhead, uh, obviously I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. Most of them are out of stock, but we're getting them back in stock here in the next week or so. So look out for those. And tomorrow I'm going out with Greg Blanchard doing a video out on the Delta. We're gonna get them in the boat. So I'm getting ready so you can see like all my, all my Delta stuff, just a bunch of, I mean, look at that. Look at that copperhead right there with that trailer, that spunk shad. It's like a perfect, perfect match with that chartreuse, watermelon, pearl, perfect match on that copperhead. Dang, that thing looks good. All right. But that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, learned a few things about these different vibrating jigs. You got to see them under the water, got to hear them. Um, and yeah, next time you're on the water, go give one a shot. Go give one a shot. I mean, that time of year is right now. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>